Hi and welcome to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style Crochet. If you're already a subscriber, hi, and if you're new to this channel, you're very welcome. If you love a bit of vintage crochet, something a little bit different, then this is the perfect channel for you. And if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and then you'll be kept up to date with all my vintage style crochet that I bring out. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this poly capelet with its own little flower detail. Really simple tutorial. So if you would like to wear one of these and make one yourself, then please stay tuned. Right, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Stylecraft Special Aran Yarn. I'm going to be choosing these two colours. I'm going to go for grey as the main colour and this lovely dusky pink as the ribbing and the edging at the bottom. If you want to use the exact same yarn as me, the shades are raspberry and graphite. There is 100 grams in each ball and approximately 214 yards per ball. If that's if you wanted to use this yarn, you don't have to use this yarn. Any iron weight yarn will be absolutely fine and you don't have to use two colours, you could use a variegated colour, you could just do one plain colour or you can mix and match, do whatever you want. I'm going to be using a 5mm hook, um, these are useful to have, your darn needles for sewing in your ends at the end, obviously scissors, stitch marker, especially if you're fairly new to crochet, these are really useful to help you identify where the beginning and the ends of your rows are and the tape measure if you need to be measuring as you're going along. So let's begin. So we're going to be working from the top down, so we're going to start off with the ribbon and then work our way down the capelet. So obviously I'm going to use this as my contrasting for the ribbon and the bottom edge. So this is the one we're going to start with. So this tutorial for the capelet is for an average adult size. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, there is full instructions on how to do that in the PDF pattern and I will put the link for that in the box below and then you can download it and then if you need to adjust it, all the instructions are there. So we're going to begin with a chain. So we just need to make our slip stitch, whichever way you're familiar with. I do have a tutorial on that if you need to refresh. And we're going to chain 76. So it's yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. So if you want to work your way all the way along until you've got 76 chains and I shall see you when you've got 76 chains. Right so I've got 76 chains and we're just now going to slip stitch to the beginning of the first chain that we did. We have to make sure that you don't twist it so if you just run your finger all the way along just to make sure it doesn't twist like so and then we're just going to insert our hook into that first chain that we did and we're just going to slip stitch so it's yarn over pull through and pull through and that creates our neck opening and if you just double check that it definitely isn't twisted before we continue on. So to start off we're going to chain three so one, two, three and this is going to act as our first treble then we're going to treble down into the next stitch so yarn over go down into the next chain there yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through yarn over, pull through. This tutorial is in UK terms so if you're watching from the US you need to be aware of the change in the stitch terms so the treble would be double crochet in the US. So we're just going to continue all the way along all of the 76 stitches with trebles. So yarn over, down, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So if you want to work all the way along, working trebles and I shall see you when we've got to this side. Right, so I've just got one more treble to do in that last chain there. 
and we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three that we started at the beginning so count up one two three insert your hook into that third chain and just slip stitch like so and now we're going to go on to row two and we're going to chain one which does not count as a stitch so chain one and then we're going to work a front post treble into this into this next not the chain three but into the next treble along and now to do a front post treble we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook from the front so it's from the front so front we're going to go behind the post like so yarn around your hook bring it through and then just continue with your treble as normal then for the next one we're going to do a back post treble so yarn over and we're going to go from the back from the back of the work and we're going to put our hook underneath and over that next post like so and bring it through then continue with your treble as usual so the next one will be front post so from the front insert your hook underneath that post yarn over pull the yarn through and then complete your treble we'll do that again so the next one is going to be back post so from the back set your hook go over that post catch that yarn and bring it through yarn over yarn over so if you want to continue all the way along front post back post front post back post all the way along and I shall see you somewhere around about here and show you how to finish off this round and then we'll continue on with the neck ribbon I'll just show you how we move forward with that right so we're just finishing off and you need to be finishing off the last stitch with a back post treble because there's the first one we did which is a front post so we need to be working a back post treble so finish that one off there and then we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that first front post treble that we did like so and they've got the start of your ribbon and you can see how the front posts push the stitch forward and the back post trebles pushes the stitch back so from now on when you're doing them you can see whether you're doing a front post or a back post because you can see whether it's raised or it's pushed back so we're just going to continue on like this now for a total of eight rows so we're going to do another six more rows so we're just going to chain one and that doesn't count as a stitch and we're going to go down into this first one which is a front post treble as you can see so yarn over insert your hook underneath yarn over pull through yarn over pull through now if this helps you when you're new to crochet add your stitch marker after you've done your first after you've done your first stitch there and that will highlight when you're coming along where your last stitch should be and where you're going to slip stitch to so we're going to continue now going back post treble and front post treble and you should find these rows a lot easier from now on so you can insert your hook much easier so I'm going to continue on now for a total of eight rows so I've already done two so this is row three so I'm going to continue on till I've got eight rows completed if you want to pause the video and work your way along till you've got eight rows I shall see you near the end when we're going to slip stitch together and then we're going to change colours and then we're going to go on to the main body of the capelet so I'll see you then Okay, so I've just finished with my last back post treble there and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of there uh, but because we're going to change colours here I'm going to now cut this yarn if you're not changing colours you just carry on with the same yarn obviously so I'll just trim and I'll bring in the main colour that I'm going to be using which is this lovely graphite grey and just bring it through like so and I'll just tie it into a knot so 
So now we're going to be working on to the main part of the capelet. And we're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and it doesn't count as a stitch throughout. And then into the same stitch, we're going to work a half treble. So yarn over, down through, yarn through, and pull through. That's a half treble. So we're going to go down into the next stitch, and I'm going to work over those loose ends. And I'm going along, so yarn over, down into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're going to work all the way along with half trebles right to the end. So if you want to continue working half trebles, you should still have 76 stitches. So if you just want to double check as you're going along that you still have 76 stitches at this point. So I shall see you somewhere around about here for the next row. Okay, so I've just got a couple more to work there. And I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first half treble that we did. And that's our first, first round for the main body. So now we're going to do chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch as I said before. And into that very same stitch we're going to do two trebles. So yarn over, down, yarn through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And insert your stitch marker here if it helps you. And then we're going to do one more treble into the same stitch. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, yarn over. So we've created two trebles into that first stitch. Then we're going to work a treble in the next, so just one treble in the next. And then in the next we're going to do two trebles, so into the same stitch. And then one treble into the next. And then two into the next. So I'm just going to repeat this all the way along. So one treble into the next and then two trebles into the following. So if I can leave you now to follow on with one treble, then two, then one, then two, all the way along, and I shall see you somewhere around about here, and I'll show you how to finish off row two. Right, so I'm just down to my last two stitches here, so I've done two trebles, one treble, so I just need to finish off with two trebles in the next. and finish off with one treble in the last. So you should be finishing off with one treble in your last stitch and you should have now a total of 114 stitches. And we're just going to slip stitch now to the top of that first treble. And that's row two. So for row three, we need to position ourselves across to the centre space between the two trebles that we did. So. We're just going to slip stitch across so we've got our hook over that space there. So we're just going to slip stitch across like so. So we're now over that gap of those two trebles that we did at the beginning. And then we're going to chain one. And then into this space we're going to work three trebles. So yarn over, insert your hook in between those two trebles and work three trebles. And if you want to insert your stitch mark at this point there we go and work your three trebles into that space between the two so we now have got three trebles in that space between the two trebles of the row be below and then we're going to skip now to the next treble so we're going to work into the next single treble and we're going to work just one treble. And then we're going to skip across to the two trebles together again. And we're going to go in that space again and work three trebles. So yarn over, insert your hook down in between those two trebles and work three trebles. One, two, and three. Then we're going to work one treble into the next. And then we're going to 
work three trebles into the gap between those two trebles again so three trebles and we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way along so one treble into the single treble from the row below and then three trebles in between the two trebles of the row below so insert your hook and work three trebles So if you want to repeat that all the way along, working one treble into the single treble and then insert your hook in between the two trebles and work three trebles. And I shall see you somewhere near the stitch marker and I'll show you how to finish off and then we'll go on to row four. Right, so I've just completed round three and I've just done my last single treble. So I'm just going to just going to insert my hook at the top of that first treble that we did at the beginning of the round. And we're just going to slip stitch closed and you should now have 152 stitches okay so now we're going to go on to row four and again we've got a slip stitch across to where we need to be we need to be in over the middle treble of those three trebles so we're just going to slip stitch so we're over that middle treble now and we're going to chain one and then down into that same stitch that middle treble we're going to work four trebles so just insert our stitch marker there and work three more so one two and three we're going to skip that next treble and we're going to work one single treble into that single treble like we did before so skip that one and insert your hook into that single treble and work a single treble and then we're going to insert our hook into the middle of that three and work four trebles so skip that one put insert your hook into the middle treble and work four trebles one two, three and four and then we skip that one and just do a single treble over that single treble and that's what we're going to repeat all the way along so four trebles into the middle of the three trebles from below so one, two three and four and one treble over the one treble below so continue all the way around and I shall see you towards the stitch marker where we should be ending with one single treble there right so I'm just coming to the end of this row so I'm just going to do my last single treble there into that last stitch like so I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first treble that we started the round with and you should have now 190 stitches for that round so for round five we need to be in the middle of those clusters of four now so we need to be working into that space between the two either side in the middle of the four so we just need to slip stitch across so just slip stitch across one more so now we're over the middle of those four trebles and we're going to chain one we're going to insert our hook into that middle the gap in between the four and work five trebles this time one two three four and five we're so just going to work all the way all the way along now working five trebles in the middle of the four 
one treble over the single one, five trebles in the middle of the four, one treble, etc. all the way along. So if you want to continue to the end of this row, and I shall see you when we've completed that last treble on its own, and we're going to slip stitch to the top, and then we'll go from there. So I've just finished my last fan shape of five trebles, so I'm just going to do my last single treble there, and just slip stitch first treble that we did, so just slip stitch there. That completes round five. You should have 38 of these fan shapes all the way around now, so 38. So for the next section of the capelet we're just going to repeat row five. So what we're going to do for the next row, row six and through to row 18, we're going to do this same again all the way around but we just need to be in the center of that fan so we need to slip stitch across again so slip stitch across to that middle one in the five so we need to be above that the middle one out of the five and we're just going to chain one which doesn't count as a stitch and then we're going to do five trebles into that middle treble and I should have put my stitch marker in, sorry. There you go. And then we're just going to go down into the next one, the single treble, and do a single treble. And then we're just going to work into the middle, one, two, three, the third one of the five, and do five trebles. So it's, that's all we're going to do now for this row and every row up to and including row 18. So I'll just recap, so we're going to work one single treble into this treble below and then we're going to work five trebles into that middle treble of the fan and that's how we're going to repeat it all the way around. So we're going to continue like this for this row and every row up to and including row 18 and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 18 and then we're going to change our colour and finish off with the border. Right so this is the end of row 18 so I've just got one more single treble to finish here and I'm just going to slip stitch to close this row 18 off like so and chain one and just pull through to secure it and that's row 18 complete so now we're going to change colours and we need to be in the centre treble of that five treble fan so we need to attach our yarn to that middle one there so one to the third one so I'm just going to attach bring my yarn through And now we're ready to continue with our border section. So we're going to chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch again, and we're going to work seven trebles into this stitch this time. So seven trebles and we're going to work a treble into that next single treble, work into that middle treble again of that next fan and work seven trebles. So this is just like all the other rows you've been doing but instead of doing the five trebles we're doing seven trebles. And all that's doing is just creating a wider fan towards the bottom and it just helps to flare out that last section, that contrasting section, just helps it to flare out a little bit and just gives it that little bit more width along the bottom. So all we're going to do is continue along for this row, exactly what we've just done, working one treble and then seven trebles all the way along. 
So we're going to continue on like this for the rest of row 19 and then we're going to repeat this row till we've got a total of 23 rows. So there should be five rows of your contrasting yarn or if you're doing this all in one colour obviously five more rows. So continue row 19 and then work until row 23 is complete and then we're going to fasten off. So I've just completed my five rows of this contrasting trim so I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first treble like so and that completes that so I'm just going to trim that off and pull it through to tighten and I'll just quickly show you how to sew in your ends you're just going to work your needle through the stitches that you've made don't pull it too tight and work back over again maybe one more time and that's your ends sewn in and you do that with all your ends and that just finishes finishes it off and there we have our completed poly capelet with contrasting edging. So we're going to make the flower as a, an accessory to go on to this capelet but you don't have to make it, you could leave the capelet as it is without anything on but I like to add the flower because I just think it gives it that vintage style. So we're going to chain 50 So chain 50 and into the second chain from our hook so not the first one into the second one we're going to double crochet so insert your hook into that second chain yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through we're going to chain two one two and we're going to skip one so skip the next chain and then we're going to double crochet into the next And we're going to repeat that all the way along so chain two skip one double crochet into the next so I've just come to the last two so we're going to chain two skip one and double crochet into that last of our chain there we go right so chain two and turn and we're going to be working into those chain spaces that we've created from that first round. So we're going to go into that chain space and work three trebles. So insert your hook into that space and work three trebles. So one, two, and three. Chain one. And then we're just going to slip stitch back down into that space. and we're going to work down to the next space so we're going to go down there and slip stitch and then we're going to chain one and then three trebles so one three trebles chain one and slip stitch and that's created our second petal Right, so we're going to repeat that now for the following six more spaces. So we've got eight petals there. So now we're going to work down into the next set of eight spaces. Instead of doing three trebles, we're going to do three half trebles. So exactly the same. So slip stitch, chain one, and then three half trebles. So continue for the next seven work in slip stitch chain one three half trebles chain one slip stitch so once you've completed the next eight we've got eight chain spaces left and we're going to finish off with a smaller petal so we're going to go down to that next space slip stitch chain one and we're going to do three double crochets one two three chain one and slip stitch like so and as you can see the petals are gradually getting smaller so we're just going to work our way all the way along the remaining spaces working slip stitch chain one three double crochets one 
chain one and slip stitch and just slip stitch like so just going to cut our yarn just leave a long enough tail so we you can sew your flower together so left quite a bit there and just pull through so I've just threaded a needle and I find it easy to sew it as we're going along so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the centre the smallest part this, the last part that we did and we're just going to tuck that over like so bring my yarn out the way and just wrap a few of those petals around till I've got some little bit of flower there and from that point I'm going to now anchor what I've made so it doesn't move so you're just going to catch the back of what you've just made so just gently catch without pulling too tight so you now you know it's secure turn it back over and we're just going to make a little bit more so I'm just going to rotate it a little bit more and I'm just going to catch what I've just made there so just gently catching what you've done and that's looking pretty nice so far so then I'm just going to rotate a few more catching through both layers and again we'll do some more and it's quite forgiving this so it doesn't have to be perfect no flowers are perfect after all as long as you think it's pretty enough for what you want that's all that matters on the last section just catching through the layers and there we go there's our flower so at this point you can either uh, trim off your ends and attach a, a brooch finding or you can just sew it to the capelet and secure it on so it's on all the time which is what I'm going to do for this one and then you would stitch it on just using the remainder of the tail just stitch it on a few times to the cape and then just fasten off and that is your poly capelet I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button that's most important then you'll be kept up to date with all of the videos I bring out if you love vintage style crochet and you'd like to see lots more please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be kept in the loop you can change the yarns for completely different looks he's the one I made originally in like a burgundy and a stone colour and then how different does it look in the grey and the raspberry colour and of course you don't have to do two colours you could do one colour experiment and see what you come up with and also there is a pdf pattern too that you can download which i will put the link for that in the box below if you have made this pattern i would love to know so please let us know in the comments box below so please check out the video on how to make my shoulder snug which is also a very popular design and again is fairly simple to make so please check out that video too and as i always say until the next time practice does make perfect but please take care and happy crochet.